Can you throw up, like, inside your body? Uh-huh. I know, because I just did. About five times. <laughs> wow. Look at this place. All these tracks converge at this point. You could probably get anywhere in the world from here. There's the portal. This is what Gabriel was talking about. That's our way out. It must lead back to the surface. The surface is also where that creature is. He's right. We have no idea what we're walking into. It could be dangerous. Thanks for being so brave, Axel. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm going. I'm going right now. Like right, right now. I'll go first. That's not what I was saying. I'm going. Well, if you absolutely insist. Well, see you guys on the other side, I guess. Be careful. Thanks, Jesse. Okay, not what I was expecting. Come on, zombie, come close. Oh man, that was close. There was a zombie. Oh. Is it dead? I mean, you know, dead, dead. Yeah. Where are we? In the dark, in the middle of nowhere? Maybe we should bed down for the night. It's dangerous to be out when it's just dark. I thought we were headed toward a temple. We're looking for a giant building. It should be pretty obvious. Ivor said... No, Ivor said... Well, then maybe this is the temp... I'm being sarcastic. Axel, come on. We have to build a shelter. I thought that was what I said, but, uh... You're right. We should hurry. I say we build a treehouse. That'll take forever, and we'll be exposed while we do it. We just need a quick and dirty hut. Look, whatever it is, we gotta do it fast. What? In a hut, we won't know what's coming until it's knocking on our door. Look, let's go with a treehouse. It's functional. It'll keep us out of danger. It's not a bad idea. All right, fine. Let's get started then. If I wake up with a spider on my face, I'm going to expect you to deal with it. Lower your expectations, Axel. Well, maybe if we'd built into the tree a little bit more, it could have... Never mind. It's... this is fine. It's good. Looks good, guys. Oh, man. What? I'm going to tell you something. You have to promise not to freak out. What is it? I have cookies. One for me. One for Olivia. One for Jesse. Thanks, Axel. And one for Reuben. <laughs> Sorry, Lucas. I only have four. Oh, no. It's... it's all right. I'm not that hungry anyway. Take it, Lucas. <laughs> no, no, I, I... I can't do that. I insist. Thank you, Jesse. That was for you, Jesse, not him.
If you had to, which would you rather fight? A hundred chicken-sized zombies, or ten zombie-sized chickens? Choose wisely. <laughs> uh, that's a good one. Let me think. How can you guys joke at a time like this? Petra is still out there. She's all by herself. There's nothing funny about that. Petra wouldn't mind at all. She'd want us to keep our spirits up. If I were her, I'd... I don't know. It feels wrong. Fine. Then, uh... We should get some rest. We gotta start looking for this temple as early as we can. Now, my guess is if we start at the portal and kind of split no, up... Oh, what are you doing? Did I do something to you? I'd really like to know. Because you keep getting on my case for what seems like no reason. He's just trying to help. See? I'm sorry, Jesse. I'm not gonna sit here and listen to this guy telling us what's what. I'm just trying to get ready for tomorrow. You're the only one wearing that stupid jacket. Don't tell us what to do. Take. That. Back. Can't. Wouldn't. You know what? I get to wear this jacket because I know how to build. But that doesn't mean I don't know how to break things. Your threats don't scare me now that we know how you really are. Jesse, your friend is way out of line. I wasn't going to bring it up, but I can only take so much. Take it easy, Axel. Easy? He threatened me. He's not going to do anything. Haven't you done enough damage for one day? Petra might be dead because of you. You're taking this too far, Axel. I don't have to take this. Listen, why don't I just leave? and let you guys hash this out. You can't leave. It's dangerous out there. I can take care of myself. It's what Axel wants, right? Let him leave if he wants to leave. You're not going anywhere. But Jesse... That's enough. We're all on the same team now. He's staying. Zombie-sized chickens. That's what I would fight. Why is that? Because I'm starving. Of course. Rain is better than monsters. Thanks for keeping me around, Jesse. Yeah. Okay? It was a rough night. It happens. We were all tired, and I'm just glad you're okay. Thanks for being so cool about it. Cool beans. Hey! There's something over that way! What is it? Some kind of building, I think. Let's get a closer look. be the place. What is this place? That's what we're trying to figure out. It's the Temple of the Order of the Stone. Lucas, are you sure? He's right. Look. Holy crap. Do you think they're in there? Let's go in and find out. Let's just all be careful. Okay. If you spot anything, call it out. We don't have a lot of time. Isn't it weird how dispensers are carved to look like spooky little faces? What do you dispense, little guy? I get the feeling that we don't really want to find out. Get behind me. That's totally pressure plates. Probably not a good thing. 
Oh, come on, dispenser faces. I thought we were friends. Run! <laughs> We're trapped! We activated the dispensers with that pressure plate. If we can figure out a way to trigger it again, I bet that'll shut them off. There's a crafting table. Maybe we can make something useful. Out of what? We don't have anything. All of our tools and materials are back home. All right, everyone, empty your pockets. Let's see what we've got to work with. I have a few sticks left over from building the shelter last night. I've got some flint and... A piece of string. All I have are some chicken feathers I picked up after that chicken machine exploded. Well, let's see, I've got some flint and steel, a sword. Oh, and some string from a spider that I fought in the woods earlier. String, sticks, flint, and feathers. Bow and arrow. Oh, I've done it wrong already. <laughs> Pick that up. Uh, string. Come on, Pepper. Let's do this. I need to make sure I hit it. Dead Ender's luck is changing. This must be their enchantment room. Doesn't this look like Ivor's creepy basement? Find anything useful? Not sure about useful, but... Definitely interesting. There is a lot of history in this room. Okay, that might be the way I came in. Okay. The battle was fierce, but the Order of the Stone emerged triumphant, saving the land and ensuring that peace and prosperity would reign forever. Well, not exactly forever. These five, five members, five friends, together would give so much to gain their rightful place. As five heroes, they would author their own end. They would slay a dragon. Ivor was a member of the Order of the Stone? The stories never mentioned him. This is so... crazy. This might explain why Ivor had such a grudge against Gabriel. They lied to us. They lied to the whole world. Why would they do this? Man, I can't believe you punched a member of the Order of the Stone. This is so... crazy. The Order might not be what we thought they were, but Petra is still out there. That monster is still out there. Jesse's right. We need to focus on what we came here to do. Where do these stairs go? Only one way to find out. Now this is cool. Wow. What happened to the walls? More like what happened to this whole place. This must have been where they met. So, where are they then? Gabriel said that once we find the temple, the amulet would lead us to the Order of the Stone. Well, what are you waiting for? Pull it out then. Is something supposed to happen? Well, that was a letdown. There's got to be something we're missing. Look around and see if you can find anything. Well, I'm guessing if we look at where the temple is on the map, uh, whichever way we found Gabriel is going to be pointing towards the town we were just in. And we have to go the other three compass points to find the other guys, I'm guessing. 
It's a map of the entire world. This is way nicer than the one at Endercon. What you looking at? Nothing. Whatever. Axel? I was just trying to figure out where Petra might be. I mean, I know she's gonna be fine, but I was just curious. We're gonna find her. Find anything interesting in that book? The only thing I've found so far is that the amulet was used to track the positions of the members of the Order. And does it mention how? It's less technical and well, more historical. It's the same as the amulet. I'm guessing we come down, stand in front of this. We're in the temple of the Order of the Stone. The Order's actual temple. Who'd have thought it, huh? A bunch of small towners like us wrapped up in an adventure like this. Yeah, it's pretty insane. I just hope we all come out the other side in one piece. Hey, come on, that's, that's probably got to be pretty obvious. You look through there and you see it. I don't think Ruben's going to give me much useful advice. Hey, Ruben, find any clues? Nope. Well, what am I supposed to do then? Ah, hello. We illuminate the light. Combination lock, or what am I supposed to do? So flicking each, each switch turns the ones next to it off. So we go switch five. No, that's not really helped. Now we do five. Oh, four, five. There we go. No, that's probably not helped. Two. One. Hey! Wow. It's absolutely incredible. How did they build this? Okay, now I'm impressed. This looks like some sort of tracking system. It's the order. It's showing where they are right now. Look, we don't know enough about how this thing works. Maybe the amulet only tracks them when they're on the surface. Or maybe it doesn't work when they're in the nether. We have to go off what we do know. There are only two lights on that map. If there are only two heroes left, then we know what we need to do. Petra's relying on us. That wither storm is still out there. We know that Gabriel was trying to tell us something. We've got to find the Order of the Stone. But there are only two lights. There are only two members of the Order left? He said Soren was missing. That leaves Magnus. Or Eligard. Well, let's head out. I'm not going with you guys. I have to stay here. If I know Petra, she's probably doing everything she can to find this place. She's still out there. She has to be. We might need your help out there. You should come with us. Nah. You don't need me. 
This is where I should be. If there's even a small chance she's alive, I have to stay. Go. Get help. I'm gonna focus on making this place safe before nightfall. This temple is pretty big, though. If we're gonna have a chance at fortifying it, I'm gonna need some help. If, uh, maybe one of you guys could hang back with me? Sounds like Olivia will have you totally covered while me and Jesse are out finding Magnus. Finding Magnus? You really think that's how it's going to go? We need Eligard. She's the world's greatest engineer. She'll figure out a way to stop that thing. We're trying to destroy it. And when it comes to destruction, Magnus is the master. You're a smart person, Jesse. And obviously, the smart thing to do is to go get Magnus. I... <laughs> I think Axel meant Eligard there, Jesse. Uh, no. I don't think I did. Pretty sure Axel meant Magnus. Jesse, the point is, you should be going to Eligard's. It's the clear choice to make. You've got to come with me. You're my best friend, Jesse. It's you and me. Like always. Think about it, Jesse. This is more of a gut call. Hmm. We need to make sure we get this right. We're not going to get a second shot at this. Whatever decision you make, I'll be cool with it. Really? As long as it's me. Come on, Jesse. This is an easy call. I think it's probably best if we leave her behind uh, with the guy. So if we go you, sir. Might be the best way of doing it. Well, get ready to roll, Axel. We're going to go find Magnus. Let's do this. Olivia, you stay here with Lucas and get the place ready for when Petra comes back, okay? <sighs> Fine. But I'm only doing this for Petra. I'll take it. Uh, guys? Please hurry. Jesse and Axel return to the Nether, intent on finding Magnus, the rogue, and find themselves in a kingdom of chaos, full of dangerous people with poor impulse control and some deadly hobbies. While the great storm grows, consuming everything in its wake, time is running out for our intrepid heroes. Fantastic. We can't see a review of the choices because for some reason the Telltale servers are broken. Well, there we go. So we can't review that then. But that's episode one out of the way then. Um, something else I spotted while playing that is that Gabriel, the first Order of the Stone member, was voiced by the same guy who voiced um, Lee in the Walking Dead Telltale game. I can't remember the voice actor's name. Uh, he's a pretty cool dude. Um... But yeah, so that's it for episode one. I think there's going to be five episodes of this in total, so uh, we'll pick up with episode two next time. See you guys then.